What's up, everybody? It is 11-15, May 21st, 2016, and uh, it's Saturday night. Drank a little too much coffee, so I thought I'd do a pre-market video, a uh, market analysis video now rather than Sunday night slash Monday morning. So looking at the SPY here, uh, it was a very interesting week. Um, so we've been fighting in this 206 to 204 area. Um, for a little while now and uh, as you can see the last three sessions um, were very interesting so on the 18th and the 19th we had these kind of doji candles where intraday the price of uh, on the spy moved kind of quite dramatically but ended up either uh, on the 18th at the at the previous day's close at the 19th kind of at the open so very uh, a doji there and we saw um, a higher than average volume so what what we saw those days is sellers coming in and pushing the price lower breaking this 204 area to kind of close at uh, to kind of go down to the 202 78 area even and then buyers came in with a vengeance and pushed it back up and then on Friday we ended up um, with uh, a, a day where it closed back in the middle of the range right at uh, 205.50 and so uh, on lighter volume so it'll be interesting to say see we still closed below the 50-day moving average obviously still in a downtrend here from the highs um, and so uh, it'll be interesting to see if we if uh, on Monday we open lower and, and decide to uh, the sellers come in and decide to push this down again or if we float up on lighter trading volume both of those are possible I, I would actually tend to think that we would float up on lighter trading volume and at a certain level um, whatever that is 207 uh, t w sellers would start coming in and, and start to sell the market again so we are having lower lows here um, so it, at this point it's very or we're having a very orderly decline but sellers are uh, winning this battle so far if we were to close below this 203 or uh, area or 204 area and stay below that for a time at that point there's not a whole lot I would uh, t to of support until the 200 day moving average so I think that would be the next test on on the flip side uh, if we were able to break above 207 um, then we've got a bunch of support here at the 2010 air 210 area uh, looking at the spy one of the things I like to look at over the long term to kind of tell what e what uh, kind of cycle we're in in the long in the long term is the forward PE ratio. So forward PE is um, the how many times the S and P is uh, the how how many times its prices to its earnings. So the the earnings for the companies all added together. So I I take the median of uh, uh, all the companies listed. I just take the median rather than the average because the average uh, you get you you're averaging in kind of these outliers, so it, the median is a better estimate. And then I look at that over the years. So uh, to give it a little context, back in 2013, I think we were at around 13 to 13 and a half forward earnings. So that and that was predicting lower growth, which obviously we had good growth and the market took off. And at the end of 2014, I think we were near 16 or 16 and a half. Um, which denotes that the market is priced for better than average growth. So 15 is probably about average. Um, so, and we saw 2014. Obviously, we went sideways there for quite a while. So right now it's at 1566. So it has come off of its uh, off the highs as far as 16 and a half. We are working our way towards um, normality. That being said. Uh, generally, markets eh, don't uh, don't just go back to the average. They kind of 
oversell they own you know they get overbought and oversold in the the uh, in their moves and then eventually correct back to normal so uh, that being said we are slightly overpriced but nothing crazy um, looking at the queues so the queues obviously had a better day on Friday um, and that was helped by Apple um, so Apple uh, continuing to kind of rally higher after this this uh, big low that it had on the 12th on lots of volume it broke down below its support line and then there was that news of Berkshire Hathaway picking buying shares and it's floated up ever since it's kinda at resistance at a resistance level right now um, and so it's got kinda resistance all the way up until uh, I would say this kind of 9650 level at that point um, it, uh, it it could go up to the around 98 and and, and then it becomes uh, trying to fill the gap here so that'll be interesting to see where that goes obviously the volume has trailed off quite a bit so I wouldn't be surprised if it if it retests um, previously broken support here and goes back down to the 94 93 area looking at gold gold also had an interesting day so with the fed minutes um, there was continued talk of a rate hike which spooked gold quite a bit so it was hanging on to this uptrend here the fed minutes bro it broke the uptrend uh, continued down got st uh, stabilized here in this area of support and 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 this kind of consolidation period and uh, went from there so now we could be looking at an extended time of consolidation I uh, the question is is it going to be in the top half of the consolidation range or the bottom half and uh, if so if it pushes down below will it break and and uh, revisit the 200 day moving average obviously we're still ways from that I think we'll see some sideways action and I still think the trend uh, is leaning bias or is, is biased more to the bullish so I'm still neutral to bullish on this but it looks like it, we may have some uh, quite a, a time of sideways action uh, I, I wouldn't expect it to break the highs without some kind of a uh, new catalyst whether that be uh, the Fed backpedaling on their their minutes which actually wouldn't surprise me etc etc so we'll see how th that one goes oil oils continued its consolidation or its um, slow rise up here from its uh, you know continued downtrend that it has seen and as you can see right here this is interesting it's really respecting the 200 day moving average so far so it's pulled all back right on it um, and and there it appears to be uh, the 200 day moving average appears to be providing resistance here it'll be interesting to see if it can break above that if it does um, we could continue to see some upside until the uh, this kind of uh, twelve and a half, we'll say twelve eighty to thirteen dollar range on the USO. Um, so obviously a lot going on with oil. I, I, it, this still looks like a correction in a downtrend to me. It's very tepid compared to the the veracity of the the downtrend. Uh, we'll ha we'll have to see if it's able to break out on volume. Um, above the 200 day moving average that may change but uh, uh, and it certainly has been a continued sustained uptrend so far uh, we'll have to see um, obviously it, there's a lot of politics going on with OPEC in the Middle East right now so that always they definitely game oil prices and so there's a lot that go on there so with that all that being said I'll have some trade setups uh, Sunday night for you and so uh, good luck God bless and great trading